Rebuke All Devils Radio. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome back. 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 Your dreams were your ticket out. Camera speed. Sound production, take one. Out what this dude did, man. He wanted some booty so bad. Listen to these horrific allegations. Play that clip. Afternoon, the man of accused of impersonating a cop and then sexually assaulting a man went before a judge. Our Michelle Choi joining us live from the Harris County Criminal Justice Center. And Michelle, this man is facing some very disturbing allegations. Yeah, Sherman, very disturbing indeed. You know, Gianari Gillespie made his first official court appearance here at the 482nd just a few hours ago, where we learned this man it, uh, works as a security guard. Take a look, KHO 11 was the only news crew to get video of Gillespie in court this morning. The 28-year-old is charged with aggravated sexual assault, aggravated kidnapping, and impersonating a public servant. His initial total bond of $300,000 was slightly lower today to $230,000 but still a high enough bond prosecutors say that will keep him in custody. Now in court we learn Gillespie has worked as a security guard for the last three years here in Houston. Earlier this month on October 4th prosecutors say Gillespie pretended to be a police officer and flagged down a 25 year old man walking along Westview in the Spring Branch area uh, after that man got some groceries uh, after work and told him he was a suspect in a crime then detained him and put him in handcuffs. Prosecutors say Gillespie then took that man to another location where he sexually assaulted him, then brought him back to the original location and finally let him go. In court, we learned the victim did not fight back because he was scared for his life and believed Gillespie was a police officer at the time who also had a pistol by his side. Today, the judge said uh, the allegations Gillespie is facing were, quote, very concerning. And on top of that intimate level of violation, you have a, a defendant who is posing as a police officer, someone that as a community we're supposed to trust and that we are trained and educated to trust. And here he is abusing that position of power to take advantage of somebody and ultimately sexually assault them. Yeah, prosecutors say that night where all these alleged crimes happened, Gillespie was in uniform, had a full police utility belt around him, including that pistol. They say he was also driving his security work vehicle and flashed the lights when he detained the victim. Now, in addition to that $230,000 bond, bond conditions were also set for Gillespie this morning. I'll break that down along with some more information from prosecutors coming up at 4 and 6. Back to you. Uh. Now, did y'all hear that? This dude was in full uniform with a loaded weapon on his side, lurking, stalking, out, out hunting for another man who he can sexually assault and rape. And when he found the victim, and we hope that victim make a full recovery, when he found the victim, he flashed his lights and scared that victim into complying and raped another man. I, I tell you, these things, man, are unthinkable and unbelievable. <clears throat> but here on Rebuke All Devils Radio, we rebuke these devils and we expose them. That way, if anybody ever see this man, you have to go the other way. You have to go the other way, or if you feel threatened or you feel scared, call 911 because he is in jail right now for doing this. The question is, is this, is this the only time that he has done something horrific like this? Shout out to the law enforcement agencies that arrested him, got him in jail. Shout out to that judge that gave him a high enough bond, and shout out to the prosecutors and the people that are, that are going to prosecute this dangerous, 
dangerous, disgusting sexual predator, predator Gianna Galipsi. Man, drop them comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click on that notification bell, and I'll catch y'all on the next episode. Peace.